I come from a, a musical family. We love all types of music, jazz, blues, started in gospel at the age of five. And so my grandmother and my grandfather would play Nat King Cole and Billie Holiday. And here comes this voice um, from this nice looking man uh, singing was new. And I remember being a little girl and it was something about that song. I went to my mother and said, who is that? Who is that guy? Uh, he was a very emotional singer. He sang what he felt. I, I would say that by myself. I love to hear songs and singers who sing what they feel. I would have to say What's New is my favorite Frank Sinatra song. What's new? How is the world treating you? I think Sinatra endures because it's music that's genre free. You know, everybody from the Beatles, Elvis, you can classify them into any variety of musical genres. There's something about Sinatra's music that kind of defies that. It's not jazz, it's not pop, it's not classical. It's its own thing that, that exists outside um, the trappings of genres that I think other music uh, falls into. It was early on when I first discovered Frank. The voice is undeniable. To have music that has lyrics that resonate, classic melodies that the listener can latch on to, where you could hear it one time and kind of just sing it back. And then that voice, that voice. There are those who can leave love or take it. There's no other better interpreter of lyrics than Sinatra. You know, he really gets inside of a song and makes you hear things that, you know, you may, you may think you've heard a song a million times, but then you hear Frank Sinatra sing it and you go, oh, that's what it's about. love is my favorite game. Cause it's witchcraft, wicked witchcraft. My mother actually liked rock and roll, but my, my dad liked the music of the big bands and, and Sinatra. So I, I would hear that stuff growing up, and it just became part of the fabric of the music in the house. And, you arouse and need me. My heart says yes indeed to me. He encapsulates an era, certainly. Uh, uh, 40s, 50s, and, and 60s. The timbre of his voice, the phrasing, it's, it's absolutely that period. But it also translates into this one, too. I get a kick, though it's clear to see you obviously do, do not know. I think the way that Frank interpreted his music has had a lasting impression on people because it still rings true to, to us. You know, you can look at the cast tonight, you see people from Broadway, from television, from the pop world, and we're all singing the same music, and it all makes sense. It's a real common language that is still relevant today. But I get a kick out of you. 